I don't know what this says, but I had completely forgotten that I had seen Jerry Maguire. It was on my to-watch list, and I started watching it, and I thought, this seems a bit familiar. And the further I got into it, I realised I'd already seen it. And when I kind of worked out when I would have seen it, it, it was less than two years ago, and I find it weird that I'd completely forgotten that. Now, this is a very popular film, 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb, very successful over the years, released in 1996. I don't really understand the appeal. Not that it's a bad film, I don't think it's a bad film, but for me it's not amazing. It's not hilarious, it's not groundbreaking, the performances are good. I mean, it, it's Tom Cruise, of course it's good. But is, there's nothing in this apart from maybe Jonathan Lipnicki, who is just ridiculously adorable um, and absolutely fantastic in it. But for the most part, there was nothing about this film that really stood out for me as being particularly incredible. It's directed and written by Cameron Crowe, stars, as I said, Tom Cruise as our protagonist, Jeremy, Jer hmm, Jerry Maguire. I kept trying to say Jeremy. Um, Cuba Gooding Jr., um, Renee Zellweger, as I mentioned, we have Jonathan Lipnicki in this as well, who is, I'm not sure how old he would have been at the time. It was released in 1996. He was born in 1990, so he would have been about five at the time of recording, and he is tiny and adorable and definitely put a smile on my face when I was watching it. So, as I said, I don't hate it. I just don't see the appeal. Jerry Maguire is, is a... He is an agent to sports personalities and he comes to this conclusion that instead of having a hundred different clients and trying to like get loads of money from them, it's better to have one or a small pool of clients, work very closely with them and, you know, develop a great relationship with them and take their career as far as possible rather than just trying to do bits here and there. And that's kind of what it's all about of him working closely with somebody, um, um, with Rod, and kind of seeing what that relationship is like when an agent actually spends time caring about their client rather than just taking on as many clients as their time allows them and getting money from all of them or, you know, a cut of the, the wages from all of them. It's an interesting narrative. I was curious to see kind of how it would play out. Um, usually an agent as a protagonist is something I find interesting. Sports agent, not so much. Usually I would prefer, you know, casting agent, literary agent, acting agent. Not really into sports. But it's not um, sports heavy in that regard. So that's not really something that put me off it, which is a good thing. So watching it, I enjoyed it. You know, I thought, yeah, this is this is okay. It's not funny. Laugh, I laugh out loud funny. But it's entertaining enough and I don't mind having seen it two times now. I still don't understand the appeal of why it's this massively successful film. It's worth pointing out that the film has an Oscar, um, which is fair enough. Um, Cuba Gooding Jr. got the Best Actor in a Supporting Role, which I completely am on board with. It was nominated for Best Picture, Best Actor, Best Writing and Best Film Editing. It didn't get any of those. Um, if it got Best Picture, I would have been quite surprised, depending on what it was up against. I will have a look just now with what it was up against, um, but I forgot the others. So it was up against Fargo, Secrets and Lies, Shine, and The English Patient. Um, actually, I don't think I've seen The English Patient, so I can't say that that was a worthy winner, but certainly I wouldn't have thought Jerry Maguire would have been worthy. But that's just my opinion. If you like it, if you, if you love it, please tell me why. I'm not saying that you can't love it. I just want to know what aspects appeal to people that make it really lovable. Is it the character? Is it the narrative? Is it the acting? Um, is it humour for you? What do you particularly like about this that makes you think, in your opinion, it's a fantastic film? Um, <laughs> and then I can tell you why my favourite film is most people's not favourite film. Jerry Maguire is a good film. Not a film I would have seen twice had I remembered I'd seen it, but I don't mind having seen it twice. I kept watching it once I remembered I'd seen it. It's not bad at all, not my favourite, but I'm happy enough to recommend it.